Oh, I bet this one's a good read. <laughs> that tater tot. Ooh, really? Oh, man. Cheers, Judge. Good morning, everybody. I just figured I'd take a second to make a video. Mmm. I hope you like my characters. No, I'm not crazy. I love to make people laugh. It's just something that makes me feel a lot better as a person. It's my contribution. We're not happy enough anymore as people. And speaking of not happy, let's talk about somebody else who isn't very happy right now. Andrew Tate. Ouch. I'm going to give you a little bit of a read, and then I'll be right back in a second, okay? See you in a bit. All right, do you have a second to read that? I mean, basically, think about it. Judge is like, dude, you're flight risk. I know a little bit about you and stuff like that. I'm holding on to you because we need to talk. Ooh. Think about it, though. Really think about it. If a guy did nothing wrong, why would he be considered a flight risk? You might want to really think about that because if you never did anything wrong, what are you running for, man? I got some more for you, all right? Here, here it is. So basically, the judge is like, all right, dude, I'm on to you. And here's how I know, all right? This is what I got you on. This is everything else. So no, you're not going anywhere. Like I said, we need to talk. I got some more for you, all right? So I'm going to pop up one more, and then I'm going to sum it up, and we'll talk about all of this, all right? So here's the next one. Okay, if you read that one flat out, what does that tell you? Disrespect. Thinking you're above the law and totally untouchable. Not really the best thing to do, all right? One more for you, but this one's from a totally different person, and a totally different article, but it says the same thing. Okay, well, I hope you had enough time to read it because that's kind of like, whoa, man, you have two different people in two different parts of the world pretty much saying almost the same thing, okay? And this goes back to my other video about you guys trying to escape the Matrix to make a difference this is what happens. There is no escaping it. You make the difference from within, not trying to do it from the outside. So, this mob boss is like, yo, dude, you put yourself in hot water, and the judge is like, yeah, I'm controlling the flame for him right now, dude. It's great. Oh, and there's a twist. The cars. <gasps> the cars. The Bugattis, man. The Porsches. The Lambo. You know, Lamborghini's really not that great. It's, it's a beautiful supercar, but it's really not that great of a vehicle. Not as a practical, everyday kind of thing. It's, it's I'm going to flaunt and all that stuff. But check this out. This is what I'm hearing. The government over there, or the court, or the judge, or somebody has just decided, oh, guess what, dude, you're forking the bill, so we're seizing these assets so that if we need to, we can auction them to pay for all this stuff, all your court cases, all your victims, everything. Ouch. Ouch. So, you leave the U.S. because you start a business that the U.S. Does, really doesn't like and we frown upon it. So then you go to, what was it, Europe, England, somewhere around there, Britain, something like that. And you go, you almost get in trouble there too. So then you decide to move to Romania and openly admit why you moved there. Now all of a sudden, and you're in the fry pan, dude, thinking that it was a great idea. You have all this knowledge, and you saw all this, but you didn't see this coming. But now you're trying to spin it off like you did, right? But honestly, there's the latest stuff for you, believe it or not, okay? 
And if you don't believe me, <laughs> make a cup of coffee, have a nice warm Joe, and wait a couple days because you'll probably hear about it. All right? So, you guys take care. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going bowling today. There's a video on that too. Yeah, I'm not just a politic guy and I'm not just sitting here trolling Tate. Even though it is a lot of fun and I love fishing, I do have better things to do than to sit here and troll Tate all day long. But I figured I'd give you the updates. I'll flop up a picture of the vehicles that they're planning on impounding and seizing and doing whatever they want to and all that stuff with because now technically they have legitimate reasons. I mean, you know. Oops, that's all you can say. You made a mistake, so own up to it, all right? Like, share, smash that subscribe button, and kick that bell out the window, all right? You guys take care. I'm off to bowling.